So I want to show you guys, look, if a guy like this picks the guillotine, go ahead, start lifting me off the floor. Ah. Whoa, did you get the legs on that? <laughs> yeah, D do that again, that was kind of cool. I got a strong neck, go ahead. Hold me in the air. Ah. That's about, that's about all I can handle. All right, so, <laughs> So when someone's lifting you up and they're this big, watch this little tip. You ready, dude? Ready, let's see. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here, and I wanted to show you guys some, some basic guillotine stuff. Guillotine defense. Guillotine defense. Um, the subject came up at practice tonight, so we were going over guillotine defense, and then I was thinking this would be a great time to show you guys how to defend a guillotine in the standing position, which happens out on the street if you guys are in a self-defense situation and you get caught in a guillotine. Usually it's not gonna be a guy that knows how to Marcel style high elbow. It's usually just gonna be a, more of a headlock and the guy's gonna be pulling up on your neck. So a lot of times the guy will go here, He'll pull up on my neck and he can hurt you and tap you out. Um, remember, he wants to like make his grip and shrug up nice and high and then he can walk his hips underneath and really get me going. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead like that. Yeah, that's brutal. Right there. If you can see, I get up on my tippy toes. Look at my toes. Keep choking, keep choking. Okay, that's what I'm trying to take it <laughs> as much as Dude. I as much as I can. Nice guy. I feel, I feel bad I <laughs> choking the, my coach. It's like so. Anyway, I'm trying to take it now. Sure. Normally, what I do when a guy gets a guillotine, everybody has different ideas. Mm -hmm. Normally, what I do when a guy gets guillotine, guys, re reasonably close to my weight. What I want to do is I either do a double leg or a single leg. But when I take a single leg, I go after the the leg over here. I don't go after this leg because when you guys go after this leg, if you ever fall to the ground, you'll slap that leg around your back and you're in big trouble. It's gonna be really hard to escape. So what I wanna do is I wanna reach across or double, one or the other, knee block. So I'm passing the guard at the same time and then now, once I'm here or here, I'll take the guy down, and now we're on the side where we belong. And then on the street, you guys can, you know, slam your shoulder into his gut. And it, it, you know, that's gonna hurt him a little bit. And then now once I'm here, you guys can go around the neck, shoulder choke him, and establish your base. See, I've placed a little knee on belly. I'm just making sure the guy can't, uh, in the street guys, guy can't bring his knee up and hit you right in the face. You wanna make sure I'm kind of blocking those kind of things right here so his knees can't do anything. And then I'm putting shoulder into his neck. Sorry about that. No, it's good. And then I choke him instead of him choking me. That's really good. So this is, this is a great way to deal with it, guys. You don't have to be real strong, you know. You could step and pick the guy up, but also what happens, I mean, like, sportively, the guy will jump guard. You know, you don't wanna end up here. So instead of picking the guy up, I'm gonna take this leg, again, I'll show you with a single leg, step around so that he can't wrap the guard. I'm not letting him wrap the guard. And then again, if I wanted to pop my hips now, I could and slam the guy down, arm goes around the neck, shoulder choke right here, and get, get my position. So that works really, really, really well. But the problem is, He's not that big. I'm sorry, bro. You're just not that big. Not full grown yet. So instead, I'm gonna have this gentleman come in here and, oh. He's a fucking monster. He's a little bit bigger than Let's me. Just a, even just a little bit. Even, uh, so how much, how much do you weigh, Nick? About 340, 350. 340, 350. So I'm like 150. Wait a minute. Does that mean that's two, 200? He's roughly, 200 pounds heavier than me. Guys, I'm not gonna be able to double leg this guy very good. 
or single like this guy. I just don't think it's going to happen. So I want to show you guys, look, if a guy like this picks the guillotine, go ahead, start lifting me off the floor. <laughs> Whoa, did you get the legs on that? <laughs> yeah, D do that again. That was kind of cool. I got a strong neck. Go ahead. Hold me in here. That's about, that's about all I can handle. All right. So, so when someone's lifting you up, they're this big. Watch this little tip. Uh, notice the double leg. Okay. The double leg, and I can't really walk around. It's just, it's not happening. So we're going to go with the the big man defense, which can be used on the little guys too. Every time, anytime somebody gets you in a guillotine, guys, the first thing I'm gonna do on a big guy that I can't lift, I'm not even gonna try to pick that dude up, and I can't even trip him with that double leg, single leg situation yet. I'm gonna take my arm, and I'm gonna bring it all the way over his shoulder. So right up here, I wanna drape my arm over his shoulder, like that. So once he's here, I'm gonna place my hand, against his leg. I like to turn my hand like this, okay? You can also do it like this, but I like to go underhand. And then come around the other side. Over here, I'm gonna place my foot into a butterfly hook, right here. And then with this arm, I take a big swim and wrap it over his shoulder and his collarbone. Now go ahead and lift me up there. See that? Now come over and look at my face. So right now I'm being suspended in the air. I'm not passing out. Most of the pressure is on the grip and I'm just hanging out right here. Go ahead and swing me around, Nick. See that? Now watch how I finish this. I take my right leg, hook, and drop him down to the side, okay? I put my shoulder pressure and block, and then I just wait and have some fun. Chill right here. Guy tries to squeeze me, he's not gonna get it. I'll just drive the shoulder until he's finally had enough. You all right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Were you even able to hear me when I was being lifted in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because from my point of view, my ears were like fully squeezed. I couldn't hear a thing. So I'm like talking and wondering, can they even hear me? You're still talking fine. Am I even, am I unconscious? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so guys, you get here, we want to get up there. Okay, remember this guy can lift me off the floor with ease and he could probably hang me out there for a while. The other thing I do, I take my other leg and I swing it outward so that I can, uh, kind of keep my balance and also wear on him. Basically, the more I hang off of him, the more he's got to expend some energy. So again, you guys get caught in the guillotine by a big guy. Guy lifts me up, go. I climb up here, I hang. If the guy tries to put me down or swing me around, tries to throw me somewhere, I just stay with him. Then when I feel him wearing out, hook. And the guy comes toppling down. Once I hook you, did you feel that, Nick? Yeah. It's like a surprise. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know when I'm going to do it. And when I do it, I try to be real forceful. And if it doesn't work, I can always go back. But now once we're here on the ground, good solid shoulder pressure. And then eventually he'll realize he's got to let go. Also, you could work into that. The Von Flew choke. There's nothing wrong with the Von Flew. Again, he's so big, I probably... Could barely reach my hands, but that was a good, good demonstration. So, guys, work on this technique. Um, what else can I say? Grip is here, butterfly hook here, knee is out, and then hook goes over the shoulder. You guys should understand this. I was talking about like it's like one of those door hangers. You got to hang it over, and then when you do this, all the pressure or most of it goes here instead of on your neck. So when he lifts me up, he's He's uh, taking the pressure up on the shoulder there. And I'm just hanging. See that? Then I can add this and wear him out. 
And then once I hook, we're good to go. Shoulder pressure and break out. Okay? Awesome, you wanna try this move on me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, 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 come on, come on, come on. Let's do, just for fun, for fun. How does a big man defend the guillotine? You can do what I did to, to Eddie. I go guillotine, you go ahead, just pick up this leg, lock your hands, and just lift me straight up in the air. Whoa! Okay, now I'm choking you. Where would you place me? Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, don't ever pick a fight with a guy this big. I'll tell you that, guys. It's just not worth it, okay? Thanks a lot, Nick. Absolutely. That was awesome. Okay, teach me grappling. If you enjoyed this video, please click the link down below it in the description box to Patreon or PayPal and contribute to this channel. You guys can always become a Patreon supporter. $1, $2, you can do $5, you can do $25. You can do which, whatever you guys choose. If you feel this video and my other videos are... Uh, worth it to you if you're learning something. Please contribute so I can continue to bring you this great content. You can also do a one-time donation through PayPal. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. We're out.